Hi, my name is Jennifer L. Armitrout. I'm the author of the Obsidian series, also known as the Lux series. I'm here today at the RT Chicago 2012. I'm interviewing Lisa Burstein, the author of Pretty Amy. My first question is, did you ever own a, a parrot? Because there is a parrot through this whole book, and I just <laughs> wanted to know if you ever owned one. Um, I did not own a parrot. When I was a kid, I did own a rabbit. The reason I gave Amy a parrot was because I wanted to give her a pet that could speak, um, because she has so much trouble talking. Mm -hmm. The parrot, even though it's turning out to be some people's favorite character, mm -hmm. is really more of a metaphor than a character. Now, when you wrote Pretty Amy, what were you hoping for teenagers to take from the story? I knew I wanted to write a book that really spoke to teenagers mm -hmm. about what they go through. What I hope teenagers take from it when they read it is that there are a lot of people out there who feel like they're alone, they're mm -hmm. unsure, they're scared, um, they don't necessarily feel like they have people who understand them, and that it's okay to feel that way. Mm -hmm. What was the hardest part for you to write? Um, it definitely was the end, and I can't say what happens at the end <laughs> because I want everyone to read it. But the reason why I think it was so hard is because she did go through so much growth. It was hard for me to to get her to a place where she felt okay about things. The characters were so realistic, like the mom especially. <laughs> um, I think we all have had a mom like that. A <laughs> but um, did, did you know anybody like that, or was it just what inspired you to write her story? I think Amy is kind of a hyperbolic version of me as a teenager. Mm -hmm. I went through similar experiences that she went through. Certainly, uh, I wasn't um, arrested for the reason she was arrested. I had two best friends in high school. Um, I'm not going to say their names. They definitely were my inspiration for Lila and Cassie. Um, my friend who I based Lila on was the pretty one, the one that all the boys liked. And Cassie was definitely the tough girl, the kind of girl that my mom didn't even want to let into my house. Um, the girl with a rough exterior that you knew had something else inside. Basically, I thought people want to know girls like this. Um, I mean, I, I was, I had a great time with them when I was in high school and I know read readers will have a great time getting to know them. That's one thing when I was reading Pretty Amy that it just struck me is that I had a, a Cassie as a friend. I had an, you know, even an Amy. How long does it take for you to typically write a novel? Um, well, uh, Pretty Amy took me about six months uh, to write the first draft. Mm -hmm. The one I'm working on now I hope to finish in four. Is there anything you can tell us about that one? It is a companion novel to Pretty Amy mm -hmm. titled Dear Cassie. Oh. about uh, Cassie's journey after the arrest. Oh, that's going to be really interesting because she was one of my favorite characters. I thought she also had a big growth throughout the, the novel. Thank you again. This is Jennifer L. Armitrout with Lisa Bernstein, and thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks.